guys welcome back to my channel as y'all can see by the title today i'm going to be showing you guys how i revive my human hair wigs so i look kind of crusty right now i have like this big crusty t-shirt on but that's also because i'm gonna be using bleach now not the bleach for your hair house bleach clorox bleach to revive my wig um a lot of people use the silicone mix. A lot of people say fabric softener, all that other stuff. Now, fabric softener can work for a synthetic wig sometimes. But sometimes they're just too far gone and I'm just like, I gotta throw it away. But this is the wig right here that I'm gonna be reviving today. So it's looking like this. She's very dry, as you can see in this spot. She's very mad that you can't pull through on her. Now, I had two other wigs like this, but I quickly did this method on them before I went to work yesterday, and I'm going to show you guys how they look. So, this is one of them. Um, It was like same as the other. Now, you can run your fingers through it. It's still kind of wet because I'm letting them air dry, but as y'all can see no tangling it can move now it's not stiff like it once was and then this is the other one right here same you can run your fingers through it now it's still damp so you can't really see the full like potential of it yet but i'm going to get this other wig to look just like these two so first before i wash my wigs or do anything to them i take this piece apart I really don't know if it makes a difference. I just do it because why leave it on like that? I feel like it just allows me to get in there more because I have mine super tight because my head is small. So, yeah, took it apart. So I'm going to get this brush right here. It's just my brush that I use for a wig brush, and I'm going to try detangle. Now, when you're detangling a wig like this, Start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. Now the back is bad, okay? But like start from the bottom, work your way to the top. So as you can see, that side's kind of brushed out versus the matted side. But yeah, I'm gonna finish detangling this off camera and then we're gonna get to the next step. Okay, y'all, now she is detangled, as good as she's going to get. So you're going to come over here to the sink, and you're going to fill your sink up with hot water. And then you're going to get your bleach. Now, this isn't Clorox bleach, but it is a bleach. And you're going to use only a cap full. Okay, y'all, so this is a cap full of bleach in here. Pour it in. And then you're going to take your hair and like put it in as like so so you guys i just put enough water so that it's covered um kind of like this and then what i'm gonna do is let it sit inside of the hot water and bleach for like about five to ten minutes and then i'll be back okay you guys so now she's like done this is how she's looking this is how your water's most likely going to start looking. Someone did say you'll get like a couple bubbles in it and that's kind of how I think you'll know that it's working. So now what you're going to do is let your water out and you're going to put some more hot water and then you're going to put, you're going to shampoo and condition it. Okay y'all, so after shampooing and conditioning it, this is how it's looking. And now what I'm about to do is just go ahead and brush through it again with my brush. And then I'll just let it sit and air dry. All right, y'all. So this is how she's looking after being brushed through. There's no tangles, no dryness now. I'm actually holding the camera, so it's kind of hard to, like, show y'all. But as y'all can see, like, she's not really matted like she was. Her curls are coming back. Everything looks really good. So I'm going to let her air dry and then I'll come back and show you guys the final result. Guys, as you can see, the wig has air dried. This is how she is looking. 
she you can rub your fingers through her now like she ain't all dry and matted let me turn it to the side a little bit you can see she got some shine back in there but yeah that's just how i bring my wigs back so and don't mind this part it's been through a lot but um yeah, I didn't really like brush that, so that's why she would be kind of. But yeah, y'all can see. The hair is way softer now. But yeah, so if y'all have any wigs that's like dry, matted, don't really have much body to it, like get into the shine. Let's see if the, the light can hit it, like. If y'all have any wigs that's having problems like that, definitely try out this method. And comment down below and let me know if it worked for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.